It's Thursday, April 11th, 2013. I'm Adrienne Jeffries, and this is 15 Vines on the Verge. It's the end of an era for premier plasma panel producer Panasonic. The company has developed its last plasma screen and will shut down research and development. Plasma TVs were long considered to have superior picture quality to LCD sets, but higher costs and early production issues like screen burn-in have long plagued the technology. Panasonic will continue to make plasma TVs until at least 2014, but the company has made it clear that the future is OLED. Looks like Microsoft is gearing up to take on the iPad Mini. The Wall Street Journal reports that a new lineup of Surface tablets is in the works, including a 7-inch model that will go into mass production later this year. According to its sources, Microsoft only recently decided to move into the smaller tablet space in response to products like the iPad Mini and Nexus 7. The company recently adjusted Windows 8 specifications to allow for smaller, more tablet-friendly resolutions. Back in November, we reported that Microsoft was working on a 7-inch Xbox tablet. However, it's worth noting that the journal report doesn't mention gaming at all. Finally, prehistoric fossils may rewrite how we think of human evolution. New research will be published this week about a collection of pre-human skeletons with an intriguing blend of human and ape qualities. Experts have long identified Homo habilis as the most likely ancestor to Homo erectus, the precursor to modern man. But this new research points to an alternate lineage. Guess we'll have to throw out all those evolution t-shirts. That's it for today's top stories. Tune in tomorrow to find out how one scientist has been using temporal fluctuations to win marital disputes.